what a beautiful day it is and today we're gonna have another adventure we're gonna dig holes in an old orchard and it's kind of close to a castle so there could be some good stuff in the ground so let the adventure begin come on we're halfway there our car is waiting let's get in and go to our destination it works <laughs> This got my heart pumping for a minute. <laughs> I thought I had a little silver spoon, but it turns out to be aluminum. <laughs> well, you know, it's always nice when the first old find pops up. I've been at it for like 15 minutes or so, but I mean, after digging some foil and some stuff, it's good to see that there is some old stuff. No, it's nothing fancy. I think it's made out of pewter or lead. But by the looks of it, it's anyway old. So that gives hope for future holes, in it? <laughs> it finally looks like we're onto something. I'm guessing it's a button. I oh, know it's not. <laughs> It's a very nice ring. It's going to be bronze, I think. Well, at least it's an older find. It's kind of tough still, but I'm guessing it will come together in the end. Or at least I'm hoping it. We're sniffing out the small targets. Got a small little bullet. And unfortunately not too many targets here, but we'll press on and see, I mean, there, there's definitely potential here, but did not find it yet, but we'll keep on digging. Well, that is something else for a change. <laughs> no pewter spoon, but a copper one, guess silver plated, no well, I don't see any stamps. Can't be terribly old, but <laughs> at least a complete one. While prying it out, I wrecked my find. <laughs> Back in the days you had to pay tax on your bicycle in the Netherlands. 1938-1939. You needed to have one of these to, you know, be allowed to drive your bicycle and it's too bad I nicked it <laughs> that is unfortunate because it's actually looking pretty good oh well what can you do besides being careful next time <laughs> just had lunch and before lunch I really did not find a whole lot I'm at it now for maybe half an hour. I've got a one cent from, well, mid 1900s. And finally, something a little bit older. I'm basically ready to go, but we'll give it a couple more minutes. <laughs> well, most of the time they take off straight away, but these are bold ones. <laughs> Maybe they're really tired of flying a long way, I don't know. Uh, we'll leave them be. So we're back on the field where I dig a whole lot of holes. And I could just not find anything really, really old at the place where we were this morning. I've got like 
two and a half, maybe three hours. And if you do some metal detecting, you know you want to end the day with a good find. Or at least, well, that, that just helps to make you happy, isn't it? <laughs> now, and you can't always find the good stuff, obviously. But for sure, we're going to try to find a goodie today. Let's do this. Come on. Well, now it's the blessing of the pewter spoons. <laughs> oh, this is a thick handle. Goodness me. I'm pretty happy with this find because finally some older finds pop up. Buckle number three out of the hole. Ha! <laughs> there we go. Well, at least 1800s, I would guess. Always good to find a couple of buckles in it. Another big pewter spoon. A few more parts and we can cast another pewter spoon again. <laughs> Bring it on! And there we have it. Finally an 1800s coin. <laughs> it took me almost all day. It's almost evening. <laughs> Oh man, what well, 1857 I believe and it's a half cent But I'm very pleased with this find <laughs> no, You can't throw six all the time in it I did not find a whole lot of coins today and when I found them they were from the 1900s and now in like two minutes I find the 1800s coin and I'm guessing now a 1700s coin. <laughs> there it is. It's probably not gonna be a whole lot of detail left, but no detail left, but yeah, I think we're safe to say it's 1700s. So we're definitely gonna poke around here a little bit, see if they drop the silver. And there we have it, another coin. Actually the previous coin was not 1700s. It was 1800s as well, it's the same as this. It's a King Willem half cent, uh, a King Willem one cent. And this one is 1880 something. They definitely dropped something here because this is the third coin in a small area. Let's see if there's more. And close to the other coin, there is another signal, but now it's 85. <laughs> Will it be a coin again? There's only one way to find out. Let's dig it out together. Come on! Now it is gonna be here. Oh, I so much hope that it is a coin. <laughs> It is in the tough layer again. It is a coin. But it's not a silver. Goodness me, they dropped a whole lot of coins here. Because of all the others that I found now, this is probably an 1800s coin as well. Ah, the tables are turning at the end of the day. Got myself another toy cup. Now it's not complete. But it's definitely 1800s, I would say. And always so much fun to find. Finding some stuff like this just gives you a boost. And you want to keep on digging. <laughs> And we've got the set complete. The cup and the plate that comes along with it. It is bent. I did not nick it as far as I can see, but I'm gonna put it in my bag. Maybe I can straighten it out back home because it looks pretty to me. I actually could restore it a little bit because it's actually made out of lead. So I'm guessing it's a bit older than the cup that I found. 
it's always good when stuff comes together in the end, isn't it? <laughs> it's so much fun when in fields like this you can actually find a hot spot. <laughs> I'm digging 1800 stuff all over the place and coins too. And there's probably another one down in the hole. It is somewhere here. I thought I saw it already. Yeah, there it is. Oh. It's actually a tiny one again. It is going to be another half cent. But goodness me, this is I think the fifth or sixth coin that I find. So, that is very nice. <laughs> and probably there's more. And another pewter spoon handle blessing. I think I, I have enough now to make another pewter spoon. <laughs> Always good, isn't it? Turned out to be quite an adventure today. Goodness me, tough day. The orchard did not work out. Then I walked in the fields that way and there was cow manure all over the place and it gave a lot of scattering sounds on my metal detector so I had to walk out of there as well. And the canals were too wide to jump so I had to walk quite a bit to get into this field. And in the end, obviously, as you know, I found the 1800s hotspot. <sighs> well, it does not always work out the way you plan, but still, it's a beautiful day and I enjoyed myself. And I found the most beautiful piece of pewter of the day at least. So let's take a look. Look at the design. That looks really pretty. Don't know what it's from though. Maybe a little box, something like that, I would guess. But I'm not going to melt this little piece of pewter. I'm going to save it. I <laughs> oh, can't melt everything in it. Well, the finds are becoming interesting. This is to me... Well, it looks anyway like a very old buckle. Could actually be made out of pewter, but we will find that out back home. To be honest, I could not resist. It's Monday, uh, um, well, Monday evening, and because I found this little hot spot here, um, some coins from the 1800s and all that stuff, I just, I just wanted to come back. It's gonna be dark in probably an hour, hour and a half, but you know we have some time. Why not? Put it to good use. <laughs> Let's dig some holes. And I'm happy I came out tonight. <laughs> that is King Willem III and it's gonna be a little hanger. Now I can't really make out yet what it says on the back. The front is really nice looking but I probably will be able to find out. It's not gonna be like very special but I'm I really like this find. The date is on the on the bottom and here is the word faced, which means party. The date on it is 12 May. So definitely something cool to investigate. But let's not waste any time. Let's press on. I sometimes do wonder. I mean, you find them quite, a, well, you find them quite a lot, actually. These tiny little buttons with a flower design on it. This shank is actually broken, but I mean, what did they use them on? They're so tiny. With these big hands you wouldn't even be be able to to close your shirt or whatever. I mean, goodness me. But enjoyable to find nonetheless. Just for one second. I thought I had it. <laughs> Look at that. That is an aluminum disc with the letter J on it. But I mean that looks so much like a big silver coin though. Oh. <laughs> well, it makes you want to find that silver coin even more. <laughs> and another nice surprise for this evening. 17, 17 I think. That is pretty cool. Can't really make out where it's from. don't know. 
Well, the back is a bit toasted. That is pretty cool. We even get a 1700s coin today. <laughs> well, in the meantime, it got dark. And I'm actually going back to the car now, but obviously swinging the metal detector. And I found this tiny little weight. Now I need to clean it up to see if there are stamps in there, but well, that will look nice in the display case. <laughs> it's a really, really tiny one. And the pewter keeps on coming. <laughs> that gave a good signal, goodness me. It's a very, very big pewter spoon. Well, as you know, we like pewter spoon parts. Thanks for watching. And obviously I hope you'll tune in again the next time. But for now, take care.